Spokesperson for Edo for Justice, Samson Usaretin, said the briefing became necessary to drop consciousness and restraint into the heart of government and soften the hearts of those hardened by the propaganda machinery of government and expose the people to the opportunities opened and promote their participation in the civil, political, economic and social cultural spheres in the state. He said Edo for Justice is worried by the introduction of policies of bitterness, totalitarianism and fascism into a state politics. Mr. Osayati frowned at the action of the Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice, who became interested in the case and allegedly substituted the charges which were not investigated by the police for political reasons. The group called on the Chief Justice of the Federation and President of MBA to rescue a do judiciary from the iron grip of Lego Koyagmaya and Imbroglu as the independence of the judiciary is allegedly being trampled upon by the executive. The Attorney General, Commissioner for Justice, should tender an all-reserved apology to the 13 detainees who are prisoners of conscience and honorably resign his appointment to save his face after November 12, 2016. The governor should tread the path of honor by using his executive power to open the prison gate for the OVIA 13 to go and reunite with their respective family as it is a sin against God and a crime against humanity to unjustly send innocent persons to prison. Also, a human rights activist and speaker of the Talakawa parliament, Masist Kola Edokbayi said, it is worrisome that in a democracy, people could be arrested for staging a peaceful protest. It is absolutely ridiculous if an innocent man is being sent to prison politically. It is the turn of those people today. We don't know the next person that will be victim of this highest level of political dictatorship. We are in a democratic system of government. Democracy, according to Abraham Lincoln, is the government of the people, by the people, and for the people. At those, at, at those states, government must entertain those with opposing views. That is the essence of democracy. According to them, they have written to the National Human Rights Commission, International Community, Amnesty International, and other human rights organizations to intervene in the matter. Ikmomusa Ugiagwe reporting.